Doesn't take long to see I was born a little different. Some people may think I'm disabled. <laughs> I don't think so. I've always been able to accomplish what I've set out to do. Some have called me inspiring. And if I am, I'm not alone. Tonight, we want to introduce you to some courageous people who at one moment were just like you and the next faced with impossible odds and came out stronger on the other side. I'm Kyle Maynard, and this is No Excuses. Uh, Richard had gotten a call from the Vidalia Sheriff. Your son's been in a, a bad accident. We, like at first we hear, yeah, he got in an accident, and then we hear he got shot in a hunting accident, and then we hear he got shot in the head in a hunting accident. You know, he had so many DBs and shots that were still showing in the side of his face, you know, that we didn't know if he'd ever be able to see again uh, or ever hear again. It literally blew away the skull and blew away uh, portions of the brain. Your friend Gibb was hit at a distance of 26 feet. That's about nine yards. You're talking about those pellets hitting a six inch circle, traveling at over 1,200 feet per second. Gibb was only at the beginning of an incredibly long, hard road to recovery. He slipped in and out of comas. The Gale family received support from all over the country. And an unexpected friend was found in comedian Jeff Foxworthy. Gip was wearing a hat. I had signed the hat. When Gip got shot, the only thing that's left is the Y on the end of my name. Jeff Foxworthy felt he needed to do something for the Gales. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome my friend Gip. He organized a benefit concert in honor of Gip. And to show off his new redneck joke. I leaned over to him and I said, I said, it's mom, it's mom, I love you, I love you. And, and I know he's going to say, I love you, mom. And he says, how's Yeller? And Yeller is our dog. <laughs> if the first thing you said when you came out of a coma was, how's my dog? <laughs> What's the next step in your life? Well, I really hope to help other people through my story, really. I go over to Shepherd Center and see patients there. I hope that it helps them to see me and see that they can get back to their lives. If they can walk in the unit, as he does uh, frequently, and goes back and says, Hi, I'm Gip Gale. I was a patient here. I was in the same bed you were. I was here for four or five months. And look at me now. You know, I'm doing okay. You can do it too. I would have loved to have had a Gip Gale walk in the hospital room when we were in the depths of despair and be able to see the hope. Gip's come a long way, but his battle is far from over. He's a reminder to us to never give up. Whatever comes your way, don't give in. Be brave and believe in yourself. I'm Kyle Maynard. Remember, no excuses. Saturday.